Hello. It's time for another exciting math video. Today, what we're going to be doing is answering percent questions, and we are going to be doing it by using a percent proportion largely. Okay? So, you know many things about percent at this point. You know about percents as fractions, you know about percents as ratios, you know the bar model, you know percents as decimals. Today we are going to be using percents as ratio and setting up proportions and answering questions. There are three types of questions. You can find part, you can find percent, and you can find whole. For example, find part. What is 30% of 70? 70 is the whole thing. We're cutting, it, we're cutting out 30% of it. We are finding how much is in that 30%. As a picture, it would be a whole mess is 70. We're cutting out 30% of it. And we want to know how much is in that. We can also find percent. 28 is what percent of 80? So we have 80 as a whole thing. Inside there, there's 28. And we want to know what percent is that? I want to clean that up. What percent is that? Or we could find whole. We know we have this large amount. Inside that large amount, there's 16. And we know that it's 80%. And we want to know how much is the whole thing. So those are the three types of questions. Find part, find percent, and find whole. Let's start with finding part. We've done this before. You put the percent over 100. Why 100? Because percents are always over 100. Put the other number on the bottom, solve the proportion. So for example, what is 30% of 70? 30 goes over 100 equals blank over 70. Let's solve it. Well, it's always a good idea to simplify a, a ratio. 30 over 100, divide both by 10, you get 3 over 10. 10 times 7 is 70, 3 times 7 is 21, the answer is 21. Any questions on that? Ask your teacher. Next, you try it. Write a proportion for each and solve it to find the answer. I'll give you a moment. Pause the video if you need more time. Okay. 45% is 45 over 100, and we want it to be out of 60. So we'll simplify, divide them both by 5. I get 9 over 20. 20 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 is the answer. What is 60% of 150? 60 over 100 equals blank over 150. Simplify this, divide them both by 20, I get 3 to 5, 5 times 30, 3 times 30 is 90, and the answer is 90. Any questions, ask your teacher. Finding percent. Write the numbers as a ratio, set the blank over 100, why over 100? Because we're looking for the percent, the percents are always over 100, so the blank will be over 100. Solve the proportion to find the answer. 28 is what percent out of 80? So I do 28 over 80 equals blank over 100. I put the blank over the 100 because it says what percent? Percent is over 100, so what over 100 is blank over 100. 28 over 80, so it's 28. I'll divide them both by 4. That's 7, 20. 20 to 100 is times 5. 7 times 5 is 35, so therefore the answer is 35%. And it is a percent this time because we're looking for a percent. It says what percent. Okay? You try it. Write a proportion for each and solve it to find the answer. I'll give you a moment. Pause the video if you need more time. Okay. 15 over 25, and we want it to be 100, 
So we'll do 25 times 4 is 100, 15 times 4 is 60, so it is 60%. 45 out of 60, 45 out of 60 equals blank over 100. Can't do anything simple, I better simplify. Divide them each by 5, no, divide them each by 3. You get 15 over 20. 20 times 5 is 100. 15 times 5 is 75. 75%. Okay? Finally, finding whole. Write the percent over 100 because percents are always over 100. Put the other number on top with the blank on the bottom. It's on the top this side because it is the percent. It goes across from the percent. Solve the proportion to find the answer. 16 is 80% of what? 80 goes over 100 because it's a percent. Percents are always over 100. 16 out of what means it is 16 on the top and nothing on the bottom. So let's solve this. I'll simplify 80 over 100 to 8 over 10 by dividing by 10. 8 times 2, 10 times 2. So the answer is 20. Not 20%. We know it was 80%. It's not looking for a percent. Okay. You try it. Write a proportion for each and solve it to find the answer. Pause the video if you need more time. Okay. 70%, 70 over 100 equals 42 over blank because it's 42 out of something. Simplify this to 7 over 10. 7 times 6 is 42. 10 times 6 is 60. And the answer is 60. 60 is 15% of what? So 15 over 100. And 60 is on the top because it is 60 out of something. This is times 4. This would be times 4. 100 times 4 is 400. And therefore, it is 400 is the answer. Any questions at all? Ask your teacher. I hope this was helpful. Bye.